Now, um, Dom, can you give us a little background on how, uh, what we use? Like, how do we do that? How do we generate where you walk? Sure, yeah. So, I mean, uh, definitely the moving around in hubs is one of the more confusing parts <laughs> when people are trying to create scenes. Like, they don't really understand. They're like, oh, well, I made this collidable. It doesn't work. Like, what's the difference between collidable and walkable? Um, so, basically, um, the way you move around in hubs, you're not actually um, using the physics system to run into objects and, and collide with them. Um, that stuff is all only used for colliding with objects. So if you spawn a duck or something like that, the, the fact that it's hitting the walls, that's, that's all using physics. Um, but when you're moving around, um, there's actually something called the navigation mesh. And so it's, it's just only the walkable area uh, of the scene um, is covered by nav mesh. And so you can, you can show by like, if you teleport around or like bring up the teleporter and you kind of, you know, wave your cursor around, you can see that when it's hovering over certain things, it's going to be like, you can teleport there and then certain parts it's going to turn red and, and you can't. And that's all based on the navigation mesh. It's not doing anything with like the physics collisions or anything like that. Um, and so the in spoke, we have kind of a tool to help you generate this navigation mesh by looking at all of your geometry and the collidable things you have, you know, and, and walkable things you've configured in spoke. Um, and we can go over like the details, but like what it ends up doing is it breaks up the scene into a bunch of little, you know, uh, cubes, voxels, and then, looks at what's inside of them and then kind of creates a simplified mesh based on that on, on like what what surfaces are horizontal and it, and it handles stairs there's all, all sorts of settings you can configure and we'll go over those in spoke um but ultimately what that's what that's spitting out is this this navigation mesh and then we use that to create like a, a graph to like typically navigation meshes um are used in games um for like pathfinding um you know if you have like some ai or something and you want you want them to be able to figure out where to walk around um Often navigation meshes are used for that. Um, the, it, the way we're using it is a little bit weird. It's not like completely unheard of. This this is not like a novel technique we're doing, but like it's not su as common um, to use it for for moving the character around. But what's really nice about it is it allows us to do like the teleporting stuff. All kind of just works with that, um, and you know we can smoothly move up and down surfaces, and, we're, and it's also cheaper to do um, than than a physics based approach. Um, but we are looking into maybe in the future doing doing a more physics-based thing so that you can do things like jumping, which people ask for all the time. <laughs> um, why but. do you, why does everybody want to jump? I don't, <laughs> I guess it's, it's just something to do. I get it. Yeah. Uh, well, th in this case, I mean, here's actually a pretty good example. Now this whole scene was built out of um, pieces of the architecture kit that ships, mm -hmm. like I say ships, we don't ship a product that's in the browser, but it's uh, it comes with spoke when you run it. Um, and you can see that how to, how to run spoke above there. Uh, but, uh, what I've got here is, you know, a, a an auto-generated floor plan, which is why I can't, like, you know, walk through these steps or through mm -hmm. this wall. The wall itself is not stopping me. It's the fact that I'm hitting the edge of the floor plan. And you can tell that because when you go up and down stairs like these, um, it's a smooth ramp. I'm not, like, bumping up each step. Yeah, where, we can show the floor plan in. Physics objects too. fall down the actual bumpy steps. So that... Yep. Um, it's kind of the ideal scenario in a way, at mm -hmm. least in, in what we're dealing with. So you're not like, uh, you know, when you're going up and down. I just yeah, I mean, even in games where um, where you would do, you know, physics-based um, navigation, you still probably would have a simplified um, mesh for, you know, the character and stuff like that to move around on just for exactly like you said, so that you're not bumping up and down stairs and, and things like that.